Hi, my name is Omari Mack, and today we'll be talking about how to find the area of a trapezoid and a parallelogram. Now, if we have a parallelogram, and let's say it's not a rectangle, then uh, we have basically three parts to it. Let's call side one S1, let's call length one L1, and the distance down from the length to the other length is called the height. Now, for area, don't make the mistake of multiplying side one by L1 as we would in a rectangle. Instead, we're gonna multiply the height by the length. You may also see in some books that this length is called a base. So this translates to the formula height times base for a parallelogram. Now for a trapezoid, a trapezoid is a shape that has two parallel sides and two non-parallel sides. The parallel sides are called the bases and the non-parallel sides are called the legs. So let's draw a trapezoid. So let's call these the legs. Let's say this is leg one and that's leg two. And these, the parallel sides are the bases. So let's say base one and base two. For a trapezoid, we also have a height which goes down from one base and is perpendicular to the other base. Now, to find the area of a trapezoid, we could say one half the sum of the bases, which would be base one plus base two times the height. So use these formulas in finding the area of a trapezoid and a parallelogram. Thanks for watching.